What am I doing with my life? Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. As you can see, we are back in the world of, um, My Little Pony, Equestria at War. I promised quite literally months ago that I would make another video on Equestria at War, and I haven't since then because I've been incredibly busy, and we are back in the world of whatever the hell these things are. Nah, okay, I'm just kidding. I know exactly what they are. They are Kirins, which is actually a really cool thing that they went and added in here. I received so many messages over the past several weeks saying, hey, Stack, Equestria War got an update. You need to check it out. They added Kirins in here, which for those of you who don't know what that are, uh, mythologically speaking, Kirins are like a East Asian unicorn, essentially, right? Like that's, it's like a Chinese magic unicorn, I guess you could say. Which, hey, yeah, I love, I love the artwork that they put into this stuff. Even though I don't watch My Little Pony, I have a four-year-old daughter who is obsessed with it and so i see a lot of things from it and i i will give the team that makes this mod its credit like oh my god this easily is one of the most developed mods in the entire game perhaps this is arguably the mod with the most work put into it alongside like kaiserreich or redux or any of the rest that are really big like millennium dawn and others and so in the 2.21 update it changed it seems a lot of things because i haven't played this mod in like what four or five months i don't even remember when the last time i did a video on this was and the nation that they added in that is the focus is Kyria, which if you if you can see from this, the Council of North Korea, it's, it's North Korea. It's freaking North Korea, man. I hate this already. But okay, let me go ahead and kind of explain what it is that is going on in here so that people know what it is that I'm talking about. Um, this is the nation that was added, the realm of Kyria, which is basically Korea. But this is like a, a mix between China, Korea, Japan, and it, it, it overall, it is a representation of the East. That's what it is. A century ago, the silence was decreed to save Kyria from the chaos and strife of modern civilization. Today, the silence has been lifted and the realm emerges from its self-imposed isolation into a world even more dangerous and unstable, fraught with hostile ideologies, predatory empires, and war. To realize her dream of an open and prosperous Kyria, an idealistic premier Autumn Blaze must use all of her skill and wits to lead the Herkirin out of the dark past and through a turbulent present. The realm must stand united against the centrifugal forces unleashed by the unbridled dash for national modernization. Fall and the ensuing cacophony will make the Kirin yearn for the quiet of a new silence. So to explain what it is that that means, the way that this all plays out is that Kyria is like Japan, China, and Korea all combined into one. And it has entered a period called the silence where due to the rapid modernization of the world around them, they didn't like all the new ideas that appeared in there. So like communism, fascism, whatever, basically any kind of modern ideology, capitalism, etc. that would have appeared, they didn't appreciate it. It was created chaos within the countryside in this theocratic state so like in the case of tokugawa like Edo Japan, they cut off all outside interaction at all. Like nothing, it's all gone. And that was the way for essentially a century, which has put the nation drastically, drastically behind all the other powers. Oh my God, these are some painful effects. I have barely play tested this thing at all, like literally just for the few couple months. And I gotta say, among all nations that I've seen that have been put into this game, this probably has some of the most intense work and story writing that has been put into it. I'm not gonna be reading every single thing that pops up aloud, but my God, the writing team behind this, like good on you guys for you mods like you are incredible at what you do and so you know what let's just go ahead and jump into things now shall we again as i said the sheer amount of lore that they put into all this is just incredible like seriously it is incredible what they do with the my little pony mod not nearly as much work is put into a lot of the others so yeah you had the realm of kyria that was born from an unstable hellscape where all these different kirin forces were fighting one another because apparently the kirin is like their ability is that they're capable of transforming into a fire demonic entity well not exactly demon but like if they get consumed by their rage they turn into this fire demon thing and so in order to avoid all that they adopted the way of fire and the entire thing became a theocratic state in which it, it, it's almost like Buddhist monks, essentially. It's, it's like Tibet as well mixed into here, where you have the supreme matriarch that is oversees the harmonic piece of everything. But now we're going to be engaging in some widespread modernization. So without further ado, let's jump into things. We have a pretty decent sized army here from the beginning of 10, which is overall not too bad. Our research is uh, not good. Not, um, not definitely, definitely not good. From the beginning, let's go ahead and get sparks. We have some basic guns to work with. And then, um, I can't, I can't even do research here. Okay. Industry, civilian factory wise. Let's go ahead and get some, uh, infrastructure going here so I could build things. I mean, I got a minus 85% for construction. When is this even going to complete? Seven years. 
seven seven years i ain't building shit and then mill factory wise i got i got two of these things and since i'm not going to be able to exactly do much here let's um pre-industrial no let's just slap the other one on guns you know just, just produce more of these as possible it's not like it's going to do much anyway with minus 63 percent output and here is the focus tree my friends so the way that this is essentially going to work is that in the vermilion realm we're going to call ourselves a council and then split between all of the parts of the council are the different ideologies that are going to be competing over which way the nation is going to turn. Unless I am able to keep my stability above 10, I will plunge the world into a civil war, right? So it's going to be straight up kind of like what happens with the Chinese warlords going into, you know, World War II. Holy crap. We don't want that to happen, or at least I don't think that we... I'm going to try and do this without causing the civil war, but I can make no guarantees. So first things first, in the Vermilion realm, with the ratification of the Hyacinth Accord of the departure of the equestrian delegation, it's time for the matriarch superior to bring the silence to an end in earnest and allow her realm to focus on modernization also i got historical off so i have no idea what is going to happen with all these ponies burning each other to the ground griffins adopting a theocratic state and then burning themselves to the ground and then oh yeah the, the thing that creates like plague daybreak over vermilion yes okay so we're giving autumn blaze as a person the position of premiere and then from here you're going to see continuous modifiers that are going to affect the vestiges of silence it's going to really hurt our stability and i, I don't want want these things so we're going to prioritize doing stability things first as quick as we can before we adopt anything that could potentially hurt it so we're going to take in the vermilion realm and then after that we are going to let's see welcome the delegates and then st no that hurts stability welcome the delegates get in my country people which is like the exact opposite of everything that we've been doing for this past century apparently all right the delegates are welcomed next up after this the three and a half year plan which is like you know like a, like, like a four-year plan or five-year plan yeah it's, it's kind of like what ends up happening with the asian plans anyway here but that'll give me some political power and from there more gains let's do that this is the other cool detail i'm not sure if this is only for this nation but there are character journals that are associated with the different leaders and as you do different things in here you will get character journals that are going to detail out like their thoughts and feelings behind things like again the sheer amount of work that goes into this mod Holy crap. We announced that we have begun the Grand Gallop Forward, which is the, or no, it's the Grand Gallop. Oh, it's the Great Leap Forward. It's the Chinese Great Leap Forward. I hope that this doesn't end with millions dead. Historically speaking. Oh God, that's a good reference. That's a good reference. The Grand Gallop on. I love the little historical tidbits they put in these things. A fire rises in Kyria. Ah, see, see, here's the thing. Here's what I was talking about. The announcement of the three and a half year plan has been chaotic to say the least. Not that Autumn hadn't expected it, as she certainly had, but she had hoped that it would be a little less chaotic than it is now. Now, at the wheels of the great gallop onward, officially set in motion, she found herself trying her hardest to stay on top of everything that was happening. And what is happening, apparently in the West, I guess, is that there's a lot of peasants that don't appreciate what the way of fire in the traditional way has been uh, uh, teaching people. So they are starting their own kind of communist variant of it. It almost seems to be like what ends up happening with the, uh, like the, the, the Ikoiki. Yes. For anyone who is familiar with Japanese history and the Sengo Kujidai, the Ikoiki were a type of grassroots Buddhist movement that rose up against the established Buddhist order and that of the daimyo. But they're, they're, they're commies. They're commies involved in the, the grape gallop onwards. Again, I hope it doesn't end in millions dead. All right, reform the bureau is done. Now we can go over here. Oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scholar monk. Oh, that gives me a research slot. Oh, I need that, right? The Alkyria Collegium. Yes, that does. That is what I'm going to need more than anything else. Okay, an industrial convocation. Let's go ahead and get that done. I guess our industry is only T here, maybe. Oh, and that would remove undisturbed isolation with civilian economy. Okay, I do actually need to make a beeline down to this. Uh, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll get the research slot and then we'll beeline down there because I want to get my research up here as fast as possible. The longer the game goes on that I have things not being researched, the worse it's going to be for me. All right, scholar monk traveling syndicates. Monks and priests have long been the preeminent backbone of Kyria's education system. Traveling across the land to spread their teachings of the way of fire with the common Kirin and training those who enter their order to read and write. Ah, yes, we can recruit them and strengthen it. Just like, you know, a, a, a school would also probably work. Just, just, just saying. Ooh, and now I can invest in the countryside and actually boost up my road system. Let's go ahead and get that done. Call upon the diaspora. Oh, oh, like the diaspora. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Kirans who have been like scattered elsewhere. Great. Bring them back home so they can share their knowledge and hopefully not diseases or other things with us. Uh, uh, one of these is su su supremacist. Um, wait, hold on. The supremacists are the capitalists? Wait, what? Fickle currents click. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. And that's actually, that, that's actually growing pretty rapidly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, aggressive capitalist magic Chinese unicorns, I think. That does sound fun. 
The All Curia Collegium. Okay, so there seems to be a debate going on over who is actually going to be controlling it. Uh, either it's going to be, oh, okay, something that stops radical ideas, which is going to increase stability, or something that is going to hurt me. Oh, oh, uh, huh, huh, huh. um, do we do we want to go with the supremacists? Because this it might uh, it 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 might be the thing that we want to do, but this is also going to boost our stability. Uh, we don't want things to get too. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. That will really hurt my stability if I do that. Uh, uh, screw it all out. If war breaks out, war breaks out. All right, it's going to happen. Now what I can do is rapidly focus on boosting my stability, I guess, in, in the Vermilion Court and move our way down here. Yeah, I got to get down to restoring the bureaucracy. Let's do it. And oh my God, I didn't even take a look at the Kirin technology. They have a lot of different technologies that they can use. Vanguards, which seem to be like special recon units. Valiants, which like are aggressive, I think. Oh my God, that looks really cool. I love the artwork going into this. You have options to like choose whether you're going more aggressive or not. Numerology, cheap. Oh my God, the Kirins are developed. Holy crap. Ah, here we go. In the Hall of the Matriarch Superior. Yep, 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 yep. All the delegates have gathered, and then into this, the uh, the communist ones come in. The, uh, the the rising flame. If we allow them to stay, it's going to modify again, but like by minus one stability, and it's going to support communism. I don't, I don't want that. No, no, no. We will not give heretics a voice in Vermilion. Nope, they can kindly fuck off. I might go back and do their thing again here, but no, I think, I think we're going supremacist capitalist, baby. You know, the true Chinese way, if anything. The letter of the law. Okay. Okay, so are we going to start moving ourselves away from the religious order of old or no? Are we going to enforce them? Honestly, no. Modernize with the nation. It overall seems like the best bet because ideology drift defense minus 25, whereas this is going to boost some stability in online, but I, I don't I don't want to make myself backwards. No, we, we have to modernize. We're, we're going to go for the hard push. Ooh, also, while I have the opportunity here, war propaganda. As long as I have the spare points to do so, I will. Ah, <laughs> cool. One of my, I, my theorists, <laughs> my theorist is literally a research thing. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. 5% research speed. That, that, that'll help me just fine right now. And it immediately goes back because I have so many poor bonuses because of the poor science base. Great. I need to get rid of that first, apparently. Premier Autumn Blaze's liberal reform, winter frost, conservative traditionalism, or fickle currents, nationalist revivalism. Well, definitely nationalist revivalism. Yeah, of course. We're clearly the best. It's why we hit ourselves for so long. God, I really am becoming China. Showdown at the Rotunda. Uh, well, clearly we're going to prioritize fickle because that's going to give us more industry bonuses. My God, his stuff is so strong for modernization. Yeah, of course I'm going to take that over a little stability. Next step up, deciding the role of the matriarch superior. Priest this winter frost did her best to hide her scowl as she watched her matrix superior surrender her absolute authority to the realm with ink and brushed on paper. The entire plenium had been moved outside of the steps of the Vermilion Palace where Rainshine read her last imperial decree to the Cairn of the Capital, turning its words into law with her divine voice. But those words were not hers. Instead, they were the conniving traitor's words read through the matriarch's voice, turning blasphemy into religious creed and curtailing Concord's divine influence. Okay, the priests are not happy about what I am doing, okay? Wait, I think I saw at the end there it said something would have to be done about these traitors. Am I gonna... Are we gonna be six of assassinations here? <laughs> that, that could be a little bit of a problem. Oh, and thank God we could actually research these industry things a little bit faster because at least we had 150 bonuses towards them. We had a crisis of faith in the morning. <laughs> We're proposing separation of church and state. <laughs> How is this like the supremacist path? It's like the capitalist path in here is straight up like supremacy. It's regarding, I don't, I don't get it. Dude, I have to throw away the way of fire. It's going to boost my research speed and everything else. I have to, I have to, I'm, I'm abandoning it. Well, at least now we can restore the bureaucracy, which is actually going to drastically increase our, uh, our abilities to do basically everything. Next up on here, open, oh God, modify vestiges of the silence by minus two, minus two. Really? I don't want to be losing all of that, but I need to, Remove the thing for the science base. No. Ah, screw it. Okay, we're gonna modernize our economy and everything first. Damn it, I don't I don't want to lose the stability. Wait, nor will it be. The fickle current slowly marched up the stairs of the burnt out town hall. Uh, uh um pe people are starting to get really upset. Okay. Fun. I reply to more letters, boost up more stability, because you know what? I just realized land possession is also going to lower the stability. S you know what? Screw it. We're opening up the ports, and we're going to send them to the world stage. Let's get this research going. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's go for it. With opening up the ports, what does that put me at? Is that minus, minus four? Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not weekly. Oh, shoot. I could have done that the entire... I thought it was weekly. Oh, my God. I could have boosted my science so much earlier. Are you kidding me? Kiri on the world stage. Yeah, yeah. Launch it into the world, baby. I feel so stupid. 
In the garden of tranquil fluorescence, Autumn Blaze touched the piece of paper rolled up and hidden inside one of the pockets of her vermilion and golden robes as she observed the festivities of the garden of tranquil fluorescence. It had been her masterpiece of her time as premiere so far, a sprawling and lively festival to welcome Kyria back to the modern world. But now we are wondering how to request foreign aid. We can go with limited exports, which is going to actually boost our stability, which is pretty nice, but it doesn't really give us many benefits. Or we go full on into free trade, which actually gives me so much more stuff here. You know what? No, I need the research. Chinese free trade. Buy all of my stuff. Let's see, this was agrarian society. That affects that. Uh, do I need any of the rest of the stuff? I do need to do repeal the quiescence, but um, industry, no, no, research. Research is priority. Okay, let's do it. Dispatch the envoys. Let's get this done. All right, with the envoys dispatched, now we can establish rulership. And then from here, get down to repeal the quiescence. Yep, yeah, that should help us technology-wise to be able to actually do things. A missive from Hyacinth. Oh God, I got pirates. I have pirates. No. Okay, we're going to beeline down here. And then apparently I have to make my way all the way over here to Auburn Isle in order to be able to do anything to get rid of these pirates. Fine. Let a hundred. No, no. It's the hundred flowers campaign. <laughs> Again, see, let a hundred flowers blossom. It's exactly like what I was talking about. I love the little historical references that they put into these things. Because now what I need to do is reassemble the banners. Kyria once possessed an impressive military supported by the banner system. Yeah, the banner, literally, it is the banner system of like now the, um, uh, not the Mongols, what am I thinking of? The, uh, the Jurchen, the Jurchen tribes. And the Qing, like the Qing dynasty. That's going to give me a base 6.5% recruitable population, but it's also going to add consumer goods. That's still awesome. Wait, big trouble in little Kyria. Autumn Blaze still hasn't gotten used to the formal military battles the general as she entered the room, but she had enough meetings with the Coral River that she was gradually getting used to it. The gleaming scale seems to have important wing Bardian fascism almost down to the letter. And trust me, I've been doing Bardi. I should know. Oh, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Because Fickle Kern and the NKP have often used the gleaming scales as under the table enforcers for their policies and fragrance and rhapsody. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Situation is too delicate. I, I don't, I, we're, we're, we're going supremacist, guys. I don't, I don't care. Let the enforcers have their business. I mean, it's not like the Chinese have ever violated anyone's rights. I mean, guys, come on, come on, come on. Really? Totally unrealistic. And let's see, Kieran, uh, oh God, look at these. I haven't even looked at the portraits of any of these yet. These look so cool. These look so good. <laughs> Through flame and fury. Oh, this is going to allow me to buy research bonuses. Yes, absolutely going to do that. See, claim Auburn. Oh, wait, I have to have a naval ship docked in Hyacinth. Have I even been I've been building a navy the entire time, right? Yes, I have. I have all these little torpedo boats. Okay. So I just move those down there real quick. And from there, I can reclaim Auburn Isle. The pirates of Knacker on Auburn Isle have long been a nuisance to the realm. Their constant raids along our coastline have destabilized us for too long and their punishment is overdue. We will sail forth with our new navy and our modern army and put an end to the pirate menace. Uh, the pirates apparently launched an ambush on me and attacked Fickle Current and beat him over the head. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Are we going to get him back? Or, or Oh, oh, wait. We paid him for his ransom. The matriarch of the Auburn Isle. Wait. Hold up. So we're being beaten and interrogated by the captain of the pirates. Current looks up, turning to where he thought the door was supposed to be. Keys turned in the lock and the lock squealed on rusty hinges that opened outwards. Torch lit, torchlight blinded the stallion and he had to cover his face for a few moments to let his eyes adjust to the sudden light. When he could see again, he looked up to see a Kieran mare standing over him and he quickly realized it was the same one who had knocked him out during the ambush. So this is Roaring Fire, and she offers help if we go and let her pirates be in case of a civil war. Uh, ha <laughs> uh. I managed to keep my stability. Uh, how about no? Fuck off. Which apparently sent her into a rage. And that allows us to capture Auburn Isle. Yes. So the pirates flee. We managed to take all of it. And that is something that is going to stop everything great. Yes, yes, yes. Rural urban migration. No, holy crap. Again, it's like these references to doing things to history. This exact same kind of thing was happening with China and like forcing people out of the countryside to come into the city specifically in order to be able to make sure that their factories could produce things. Who? Dang, I th th there's some good references there. Next up on here, Northern Industry unlocks Journey for Autumn and it modifies agrarian uh, society. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, the communists are getting more powerful and they're starting to uh, to gather together. No, no, no. We can. I believe in the Grand Gallop onward. How can we gallop if we leave Kieran behind? Which will actually boost communism, uh, but the other thing will stop it and hurt my stability. You know what? Fuck it. No, we're going full supremacist here. Wait, what is this? The seeds of greatening. Is something wrong from here? You barely touch your teeth. Fickle current raising the eyebrows. Autumn Blaze held her teacup and her magic staring but not really drinking at it oh oh no no the place is about to starve because all the peasants left from the countryside and went into the into the cities and oh no 
No, no, we need to modernize our farming techniques alongside our society, he concluded. Neither you or I are farmers, but I did learn of new techniques being developed in Grafonia before I left. One of the more interesting ones was close planting. Triple the density of seedlings in a plot, then double it once the first batch has time to settle in the soil. The thought is that plants of the same species won't compete with one another. Oh my god, we're like... <laughs> Oh my god, with that deep plow, uh, no, 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 we're gonna need all of our farms to feed our people, we can't risk testing new techniques, you freaking idiot, no. And then a tale of two scripts, oh, one nation, one currency, yes, I'll take this, I, I don't care, uh, only the tale will be accepted in Kyria, I don't care, but I need the political power. I don't even care what the effect was. I just needed the political power here, man. Now industrialize the breadbasket. Raking the cinders, Cinder Glow stepped into Autumn Blaze's office at the premier summons, and she immediately found the seat in front of Autumn's desk and sat down in it. I put everything together I could find on the incendiaries for you, she said, putting a binder down on Autumn's desk. Want me to give you the quick briefing, or would you rather just read for yourself? Well, I'm just, I'm gonna read now. Oh yeah, if you all are trying to read any of these things that pop up in here, by all means, just pause the video and read it real quick if you want, because I'm not reading everything. Okay, yes, yeah, so, okay, the communists want to overthrow everything. Yeah, that just makes a lot of sense. The success of the Grand Gallop on word shall deal with the lingering tensions but with all that political power that i have now i can actually hit this button which is going to stop the boost of uh communism here perfect yep we are not going to go with the sympathetic route i don't care what the matriarch desires we must condemn the incendiaries and their movement get me some political power and remove communism beautiful with the breadbasket industrialized that's going to give me more civvies and then the trans curia railway Ooh, i can build more railways yes I like trains, which, oh, oh my God, that's expensive. Uh, it'll build, it's only building railways. <laughs> oh my God, that's it. Okay, well, uh, that's gonna be a lot. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of that here right now. Uh, instead, riches of the, the Melifloof? Melifloof? I don't know what that is, but I don't care. Wait, after sorting out some of the confusion with the translator and with the assistance of members of the Secretariat who hailed from Verdant, the issue at Hoof became much clearer. Verdant, diverse as it was, had its own dialect of the Karen language to the point where it was difficult for Autumn, who was from Massiet, to understand what they were saying. While the language the majority of the realm spoke and the dialect Verdant spoke used the same script, the pronunciation, grammar, and vernacular were extremely different it's chinese it's based yeah it's like the whole thing with mandarin and all the other languages they want the nakp which is offering language classes is to leave no one culture one heritage we're gonna make the realm great again make the realm great again Screw your language. There's a lot of situations in which what I am saying can be taken severely out of context. Uh, I just want everyone watching this to, to, to understand that. But more importantly, it is time to modernize everything. The fragrant smell of chaos. Wait, coal fire stood in the darkness of her bakery at the sounds of rioting and looting filled the streets outside. She couldn't see much past the board. She nailed over the windows and the doors, but she knew the mob was getting closer. Soon they decided to turn their fear on her bakery and all she had to defend herself was a black powder pistol her grandfather owned. Grain supplies had collapsed with the famine in the countryside. Coal didn't have enough flour to make bread for any Kieran more than herself and her parents. Oh no. Activates mission. The crisis of bread and rice. No. It's, I thought that I would avoid this. At least I had the political power for it. What, what was I going to do? Sharing what little we have. It started with a single cart rumbling down on the dirt road of Fagrance. That cart pulled by an elder Kieran who had seen dozens of seasons come and go had been loaded to the brim with as much wheat as it could hold. And when he arrived in the famine stricken Fragrance, he merely unhitched himself from the cart and wandered off, only returning to the cart once it was empty to take it back to his farm. Day in and day out, the elder Kieran would make the trip to the city, giving away his one cart full of wheat to any Kieran who needed it. He became a hero to the local Kieran, and when his cart broke a wheel on the journey into town, the smith made him a new one as free as a sign of thanks. It wasn't long before the story of the humble farmer spread throughout the countryside. Shortly after, where it, there was one cart, soon there were two, then five, then ten, more and more farmers were gathering up everything they could to spare and making the journey to fragrance, delivering it to Kieran in need for free. Within a month, the same started happening in other hungry cities in the realm, and the poor peasant farmers, with barely enough land to feed their families, so started to solve a crisis that the NAKP and the large consortium farms could not, and in doing so, began to knit their communities back together. Oh, that's, that's nice. As for the farmer who started the movement, he simply returned to his farm without giving any Kieran his name, unwilling to be put in the national spotlight as a hero. In his own words to one reporter that managed to track down his homestead, I just did what I thought was right. Kieran were hungry, and I had something I could spare. Simple as that. Oh, that's that's some nice stuff. That's some nice stuff. And if I hadn't been able to hit the button, people would have starved. And now that we have more than 40 factories, I think it's time, yeah, breakneck industrialization. Gets the event, the bourgeoisie and the proletariat to replace industrializing society with an outdated industrial sector. Beautiful. Let's do it, my friends. Rapid industrialization of our realm is something, it's finally happening. I don't even know what's actually going on with the rest of the world. I, ha I haven't even really 
looked. Um, oh, some, the camels are... Dude, why Why are the camels drawn like that? That is... Stop looking at me with those eyes. They're fighting the Boltrians of whatever the hell this thing is. The Aquilian Republic is currently marching in to kill everything around Skyfall from the looks of it. The Yaks are once again fighting one another, so that's something over here. And uh, yeah, really not all that much has actually happened. The bourgeoisie and the proletariat. No, it's, 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 listen, listen, no, no, we, we don't... Screw you. No, I don't want communism. I want a constitution. It's only right and proper in this world. And with that, we've done all of our base modernization. Now, really, all that's left to do is to fix the military. And once we've done that, we should be set. Banditry in the West. No, no, come on. Really? Oh, wait, no. Apparently, all of the major companies that I've been sponsoring have been buying up all the land. <laughs> and now people don't really, they can't really hold, afford farms or homes or stuff. I totally, I don't see any parallels to anything like that happening today. <laughs> no, totally not. Is Zillow in this game by any chance? I just realized now, I have a decent amount of infantry equipment. Can I start producing things here? Kieran Banner. Actually, that's a pretty basic unit. You know what? Yeah, let's get some divisions of that out. Yeah, giving others priority in the court. Ah, no, no, no. You can't just accept part of the Constitution and their own judicial system. That's not going to work. You can't do that. And now for Kieran Rifle Designs. Yes, we're going to go ahead and get these done. Our species is blessed by Concord in that every individual can use basic telekinesis to manipulate objects and hold weapons. We can use this gift as we have been blessed wish to create weapons ideal for our species that only we can use rather than relying on the designs of other nations. If you want to create a modern functional army, then we need guns made here at home and we're going to need a lot and a lot of them. Yes. And I think that's why they have their own kind of unique stuff in here, which is very interesting. It's like designs that doesn't have anything that can be held by a hoof because you don't need it. You're using telekinesis. It's really cool, actually. Vanguards of this now done. The Massacot War School. The training grounds of the Massacot were once the pride of our army where thousands of soldiers could be trained in the arts of war. Oh, it's like the, the Dao. That's like the Chinese uh, uh, Dao sword. Oh, cool. More research speed. Yes, I will take that. And that's done, which gives me three and a half years galloping on four. And here we are, the three and a half years galloping on four. Today marks three and a half years since we began our grand galloping onward. Autumn Blaze proclaimed on the podium of the Grand Hall of the Pianum, but her mood was far from celebratory or joyful. We've accomplished so much in the time that we've been given, but it's not enough. Not yet. Don't misunderstand me, though. We've modernized faster than any nation in the world has ever. Yeah, literally three and a half years. And that's terrific accomplishment by itself. The life of every Kieran in the realm is growing better with each passing day as we shake off the last vestiges of the silence. But I'm not going to sugarcoat it for any Kieran here, though. Kyria is strained in a way that never has been before. There's so much social upheaval and cultural change that we're enduring that if we're not careful, the entire realm could come crashing down around us. You don't say. We've come this far and we won't trip and fall on our faces before we cross the finish line. With our renewed commitment to the Pianum and to Kyria, we can do this. I know we can, so please don't give up. Okay, okay, now reading through this, it doesn't look like he's trying to overthrow thing. This is Autumn Ship to Steer and we are all along for the ride. Base stability minus three, harmony minus three, all Kyria and play him for a Nash Revival, minus 20. Am I, are we going to do it? Are we, are we at it? Completion of the three-year plan. We've succeeded in what many once thought impossible. Hey, let's do it, right? Is that going to give us an event? Oh, wait, did I, did, did I, did I only get, I think I only got that event because I didn't hit the button. <laughs> I didn't hit the button. Okay. When news reached Maskey that the premier on a blaze was scheduled to give a speech in the radio evening, word quickly spread to the small community of farmers on the city's borders that the imperial premier called her home. But the farmers were poor, even if the modernization of the Grand Gallup Armour had already begun improving their lives, and many, her parents especially, feared they would not be able to hear it but thanks to a friend of a friend of a friend autumn parents managed to find a radio and the entire community gathered around the staticky device as it strained to pick up her voice in vermilion many kilometers away hey oh hey it does it yeah, it would be a lively night in Masket and all throughout the realm as a whole. We did it. Concord blesses. Okay, I literally just didn't hit the button in time. I just played. Oops. That is going to unlock a special tree for us, right? I think that's what it said. Yes. Oh, my God, it did. Um, Radiant Prosperity. Oh, wait, that's going to boost Harmony. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Or, or do I get an option to switch over because I didn't have a civil war? Or do I get an option to switch over to something else? Do I not get an option? Did I actually go Harmony even though I pushed for Supremacy the entire time? Well, I... Yes, sure. The era of radiant prosperity. Yeah, Kyria is in bloom, which is boosting harmony. It's just, it's boosting harmony. I didn't want to go hard. Did I have to go for a civil war to do any of that? Well, I guess we could just fix things. Not just, I'm just developing hard. I, I didn't want to play an economic game, damn it. Wait, what is this? Thrown from the ivory tower. I, I it, it's, there was a proposal for eugenics program to study the transformation into Nerex. Okay, well, I guess not. That they're, they're not going to approve that. Nope. No, it doesn't happen. A constitutional matriarchate. Yeah, a new dawn for harmony in the morning secretariat. Dang, dang. 
Well, everything is burning around me. My, oh, wait, no. The premier of Cure. Oh, she's now in charge. Whoa, did not expect that. Bro, what is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? <laughs> Hopefully this will calm the last few fiery tempers of the secretariat for consortium. Dude, I don't even know what is happening with this. What, what am I doing politics wise? Am, am I, uh, okay. I wonder if everything is gonna blow up here in my face. It might happen, genuinely might happen. Wait, it is sad history. What, what? The poor farmers were promised a future get, get with the blessings of modernity and they find themselves more tired, more hungry, more anxious than they were ever under the silence. Each day, the slums around the realm's industrial powerhouse swell with train loads and caravans of migrants. The excess rural labor force made redundant by increasing efficiency of curious agriculture. And each day, the cracks in the foundation of the new modern Kyria widen as these farmers find nothing but crowded, filthy, and impoverished life of dangerous factory work. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The National Plan for the Provinces. Okay, so there's going to be provincial elections, and hopefully after these elections, Autumn can get some clearly much-needed sleep. Establish a provincial diet that each of the realm of Kyria 29 court state... Wait, what? What, what, what? Is that going to give me interactions? Things that I could... Oh, what the hell? Choose the provincial ruling party for the Vermilion Basin. What would... Oh. Bonus command, bonus to daily harmony. Oh. I can... This is so cool. In each one of the provinces, I can uh, I can add something that is going to increase research speed, provide bonus... Bonuses, not like, dude, that is so good. That is so cool. I can even increase my research speed from that stuff. Homegrown care court. Where, where was that thing that said that a, uh, a, a rising fire, right? Patriotic renewal. The National Association of Kieran Patriots shall break out of its northern Kieran heartlands and expand its reach over the entirety of the realm. Yeah, oh, this, this, this is the one that we were trying to go for from the beginning. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these things done before we make a beeline down to that side. For realm and constitution. Great. Yeah, yeah. Kieran is right with extremist ideologies. Listen, and I haven't been trying to get any of those apparently. So that means in each one of our states, we need to start producing things for uh, for for regional locations, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amiant few, regardless of the motivation, grievances, or beliefs, arsonists are criminals. The spat of arson attacks perpetuated by groups such as the Red Angry Fire will not be tolerated under the Matrix government. That is damn right. Burn their shit. The first iteration of firefighting operation doctrine is issued by the state under secretariat for fire control to its primary field force, the number 268 fire control. There's so much stuff in here. Oh my God. I'm just not realizing the communist side has to rage as Kieran. Okay. Okay. I might want to do this whole thing again and actually do the communist side because apparently in that path, you can go full on war raging. Yeah. Okay. That's something that looks cool. But uh, in this case, rem dev plan com, we need to, uh, boost our industry. Okay, so the person who's in charge of industry here doesn't appear to be very happy about being in charge because they could potentially be a scapegoat, but that is going to unlock me decisions that I can use to modernize and develop my country further and build factories. Wonderful. Oh my God, what? The realm development plan. This is so cool. Wait, set ratio three, two, two, one, three, one, three, one. Oh, so you can focus on what you want to do. Let's see, instead of three, two, one, we're going to go with a two, two. No, oh, no, no, I can't do this. I can't actually switch over. And I realized before we go over here to patriotic renewal, this over here will allow me to get a research slot. Yes, 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 yes. We need to do that first. A prize, the Kyrian tail. Yes, we're going to get this done. This is going to allow me to build military factories using nothing more than political power and reduces the construction of mill factories right now for 70 days, but that doesn't matter. Oh, buddy, let's do it. Let's get two of them going. Yeah, the Great War. Changelings are uh, are having some fun over here from the looks of it. Let's see, with all these four done, that means the Realm Lands Commission, a homegrown Kirkcon, and then a world-class institution. Perfect. Make a little room. Oh, no, I'm going to kick a whole bunch of people out of their homes and use it to build factories. That's what we truly care about. Because remember, guys, corporations, are people too. Gets event the last stop till fragrance builds the new Times Rail Network. A level two. Yes, more railways, more modernity. Honestly, this is all that I'm really doing here over the course of this here is I'm just building an economic superpower. Let's see, with this world-class institution, we're gonna get another research slot and really we're just building up a massive economy at this point. Excess rural labor across Kyria, the industrial boom unleashed by the Grand Gallop onward has led to almost unceasing tide of rural peasants leaving for higher paying jobs. And with no land to live on, the ballooning urban underclass live hoof to mouth existence. Oh no, everything is getting worse. I'm, I'm not helping. <laughs> There's only one option left that can save the people. Unfettered capitalism. Fickle Current has outlived his usefulness. His inability to compromise with a harmonious mainstream in Kyria is rendering his leadership of the NAKP distinctly unprofitable and elements within his party organizing to protect their interests. No, 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 I wanted him in charge. Well, I guess it's gonna happen. I didn't do it right in the first place, I guess. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. The Roman Kaiser is massing troops on our border. We must prepare to defend ourselves against it. No, 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 no. You sons of bitches. Quick, dismiss the chairman. Oh no. 
Wait, the committee would rather work with Blaze than try to seize power. No, no. As chairman of the National Association of Cured Patriots, I veto that. Oh, no. And so does business. No. Okay. Yep, they did decide to declare war on me. Fantastic. Wait, hold on. No, I've been building troops the entire time. Do I? Do I outnumber them? Do I? I actually outnumber them. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Could I potentially just break for you? Could I just go for it? You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, they can just uh, continuously throw themselves at me. You know, that's perfectly fine. I'll just keep on accepting that. Wait, what was it? The Zykirin military now threatens? No. And now protests. Are you kidding me? Yep, there they go. Now they're declaring war on me. Fantastic. There you go. Retreat, 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 retreat. Yes, I'm going to lose a lot of territory. I know. But I can't afford to maintain anything over here right now. Yep, of course. Here they freaking go. Launching their attacks on me all across the board great great i withdrew back all the way to my supply line but it seems like they still somehow have supply in this region and i do not know how i've lost half my freaking country all right that's it war economy minor civic duty and lock decision declare election season yeah i don't think election season is going to be coming around here anytime soon we're kind of currently dealing with something already the south sea I, I, I don't even know what i'm doing with all this economic crap oh my god the carthenian what the hell oh my lord this is huge all right well you know what fuck it let's go let's go i don't even care let's charge okay sacrificed a lot of lives but we took back a decent amount of territory i think okay yep that is uh that's pretty successful overall here yeah pretty good pretty good pretty good but i also burned through quite a bit of manpower doing that here i think hey i can declare the triumph of modernization yes let's do that now our people can find well okay they're not gonna exactly gonna live in peace but you know it's the thought that counts wait the kieran's burden oh god no no kieran's burden please don't say this is a, a, a white man's burden reference please no it's the tribes of zebrica we vote for intervention even though we're kind of already being intervened upon here it looks like wait what the far south expeditionary force with the slim majority of the morning secretariat voted for intervention and now curious armed forces are being scrambled to intervene in the far south we're already there wait a minute why am i invading to this territory what am i doing why did it just spawn four divisions that are over here i don't impending mission really but i, do, I can't do anything the new kyrian army yes yes let's go yes distract them i know we were throwing away so many of our men's lives i do not care let them come at me all right use my generals come on push it to the capital yes rome has fallen isn't Ro rome like rome the plains yes <laughs> oh you think that invading me from the north here is gonna save you it's not buddies it's not <laughs> because with that the roman kaiserite I, I i i hate that name i hate that name so much either way that's gone yoink protest why are there more protests why do i have to keep on choosing political parties i don't like balancing all of this Fuck it, let's go. Just just push. They can't stop our... Uh, well, they might be able to stop our overwhelming numbers. It's fine. I have lost so many men. I've lost so many men. It's fine. And there goes the Zykerian military or militarchy. I, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. You just die, okay? I was just trying to peacefully build my country. And by that, I mean, I was trying to spread the glories and love of capitalism. Everywhere. But I don't even know what is going on here. Mayoralty... No ruling party, suspended diet, provincial diet. Dude, what is even happening with any of this? There's so much that we had to manage. And now we have, I don't, there's so many things we're building our military. I can't even do this. The far south of Buck. Where's it? Because I, I didn't realize that while I was at war that I would, for a reason, have an expedition down south. And now that causes me to fail a military expedition. Are you serious? I had just deployed my entire army to the region. Uh, honestly, I I, th I think that at this point, we're good here. The, the, okay, the, the the whole Kyria thing, or Kirin, K Kirin, 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 yeah, Kyria and Kirin. It's really cool, right, guys? It's really cool, but, 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 there's so many of these things to balance while also simultaneously being at war if you are getting invaded and there's no way to really manage all that with your political power or any of the stuff that is going on here. I almost think that there's too much to manage with Kyria. In, in my in my honest opinion it's it's cool don't get me wrong the historical references all the things that are in it and it can be powerful i mean really powerful as time goes on but it's it's again not really powerful until going into like what it's it's been eight years into the game 
Like it's when when does this game start? I think it starts in 1006, right? So it's been it's been eight years. That's like the equivalent of me, you know, playing until 1944, right? So it's it's like late game that it's actually really strong. But I think that I've had a decent amount of fun with this here. The puns in this were were awful. I really wish that I could have managed and balanced the political system better to actually flip over to supremacist like I wanted. But in the end, it just creates this weird harmony kind of balance thing. Like you can either go pure harmony or you can do what I did, which creates some kind of like weird balance where it like balances all three or no four because harmony, the communism, supremacy, and like not aligned. It puts all, it all together. Either way, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm telling you this right now, and I'm going to put this in the middle of the video, right? This is a little tidbit. If you all want to see more of Equestrian War, if you want to see more of the MLP mod, then make sure to like the video. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do another one. I know that I said that months ago and then it reached the video and I'm just doing it now, but I'm serious, guys, I will. In fact, I'll try to get one done here before I go to Japan if that happens. Thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye, my friends.